there's typically only one uh, black character in these horror films, and we turn it upside down because there's a whole crew of us. So this, like, historically, <laughs> historically, um, in, in a horror film, black people, we don't survive. Um, you know, we're always the first to go. Um, <laughs> damn, I'm, I'm laughing while saying and, that. And, and, <laughs> and you don't get a chance to get to know us. Yeah. And in this film, you get a chance to get to know an array of us. Yes. And throughout the experience, get to know what it is to be black from different perspectives. And that's super important because a lot of people have the view that black people are one way. And, and we are not. There's we are so not a monolith. So many different. We come in every type of way you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Board game and the blackening is like a ticking clock. You know, it entails when we're going to die, what rules we have to abide by, and if we don't, we are done. Yes, I think the board game was like a physical representation of the struggle. I've been like, oh, right, like we are, we're like marking our journey to survival. Uh, and then once Senkwa pushes the game and it breaks, then that changes the whole game. And he's like, oh, now you have to survive in a different way. So I think that the board game, similarly to the genre horror comedy, the board game is juxtapositioning what is usually seen as fun and lighthearted, a board game, but for us, it's the symbol of death. The board game in The Blackening is also a symbol of absurdity of um, within black culture, how sometimes we can test your blackness and see who is the blackest and who's not black enough. And I think that it's like so heightened to a place where it's so funny because it's so absurd and insane. And that I concur with what they said about it, but I think that that's a little note that people should take away from the game as well. Yes. Also, in black households, board games are a big deal. Oh a my huge God! Fucking deal. Like Monopoly will take days in my, in my no, <laughs> and start fights. And I know shit. taboo. I yeah. stopped talking to someone for two months. Yeah. Because it was countries. I did really good. Yeah. Also, like to describe even, it. Even Rat Trap. Like that. That shit gets tough. You know? Historically, yeah. like if you think about like horror movies, like Saw, that is a, a movie that has like a game element to it, but there's no board. Because the game board trivializes it, like it makes it into an actual game, and I think that helped us because it's comedic. Like it's different if you're like, oh, s answer this question and save your life, or like play shoots and ladders, and that determines if you die or not. Like that, the actual like game element is, I think, very important to the tone of the movie. And just to be clear, I would die if it was shoots and ladders. Yeah. We do find a board game in this uh, in this movie, and uh, <laughs> the board games purpose is to kind of stump us on questions if we get those questions wrong black culture questions you die you lose your life but luckily when you do have so many different black people in a room somebody knows the answer you can you can kind of help people out you feel me if now if one of us just did it by ourselves i'm sure that uh, everybody would die you know what i'm saying but I'm just saying. But it's good to have everybody in there to get those different perspectives. The strength perspectives. in numbers. We're strong as a community. Yeah. Inclusivity. Yeah. We all need to, everyone in, every character in the film represents a different type of meaning of blackness. In yeah, a it's and like think, seven archetypes. Yeah, yeah, and I think you need to be <clears throat> with your homies who might represent, like, that's you, oh my God, you. I'm, yeah. I think, I mean, we all have a Nigerian friend. <laughs> I'm from Maryland, we all got a Nigerian friends. Yeah, I'm from L.A., I got Nigerian cousins. Period. Yeah. And I think you need to be like, you need to say, oh, that's Nami, that's you, homie. Like, you know, like you got a biracial friend who you always tease about being an Oreo, stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like, that's why I think seeing the movie in that sort of sense is the best way to see it. Yeah. Yes, because I think in the film, it is... A contrasting points of views and I think to watch it with those same contrasting points of views gives you a greater breadth of enjoyment because you're then able to see it from different points of view similarly in the movie so there's a parallel of the experience of like oh yeah this group of friends is in this movie and this group of friends is watching assuming that they're gonna be the group of friends in the movie so like that experience I think heightens the entire experience you don't want to watch. You don't want to watch a horror film by yourself. You want to be in. The, you want to laugh together. If you're scared, you don't want to be the only one scared. But with this movie, you get both. 
You get both of those things. Yeah, and I, I feel like it's just humans. We're tribal. We like to do things in groups. We feel more comfortable with, you know, our loved ones around. And, and black people, we just so, we, we extra with our friends. We run when we laugh. Like, we slap when we, you know what I mean, find something funny. Um, it's just like run when we're surprised. Laugh, we run a lot. Um, but it's just like it's, a, it's an experience that you really can't explain. You just feel it. Yeah. And it's a communal feeling. And in this movie, I feel like we encapsulate that feeling. So once you see it on screen, it'll translate to the theaters, and you can just have a great time. Why well, should audiences see this movie over Juneteenth weekend? Uh, first of all, it's the it's our weekend. This movie this movie is different. It's something that's never been done before. And it's important for everybody to get together to not only laugh or be scared together. It's all about together. This movie represents. It represents us well. It's culturally uh, accurate. And Juneteenth is about celebrating the freedom of, of black people. And I feel like this film is, you know, our, our freedom to turn the trope and the genre upside down and do it our way. Um, and it still be horror and not necessarily um, a, a unicorn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, no, you should go see this on Juneteenth because, fun fact, spoiler alert, our movie takes place in the world of Juneteenth during Juneteenth weekend, mm -hmm. and we're all coming back uh, together to reunite. So I think you need to bring you, your mama, your cousin too, and that toxic ex, because I know you texting them, and bring them all together and see the movie because Juneteenth honestly is the first. It's the first time that we've had a federal holiday for Juneteenth within the past what two years, I think. Like it just became a holiday. It's fairly as of, as of recent. It's it's fairly fairly new. So I think it's it's a way to not only honor that but to uphold and support Black people. Like we lack representation in so many areas, and the best way that you can so, show support is by coming out and coming out with a group, telling everybody to come out for the reasons that they said to experience something that you've never felt before. You yes. should see the Black in on Juneteenth because. Seeing a horror movie during the summer, especially one that takes place in a cabin in the woods, is a fucking American pastime. Uh, I think that uh, people should see The Blackening on Juneteenth weekend because uh, it symbolizes, um, you know, like black community um, freedom. Like, it's, it's rare that black people are able to create a movie with a black cast, with a black creative team. Uh, are you humming? <laughs> I hate you. Oh my God. Um, and I feel that this movie would bring us together black, white, purple, blue. I think this country, this world needs a moment of togetherness. And this is what the blackening would do. So get your friends, get your enemies, and come to see the blackening the weekend of Juneteenth for you and your ancestors. <laughs>